Today I'm going to show you how to make this raised paving stitch on the loom. It is the stitch pattern that I used in my paving rainbows hat. This is version 1 and so I've also made um, a video for the version 2 which is a longer um, stitch um, pattern than this one. And But this one's version 1 and I hope you find this helpful in making the hat and also the cowl of the paving rainbows okay for this pattern it is um, for the stitch pattern it is done in multiples of eight pegs and then if you're doing it on a flat then you would do um, however wide you want it in multiples of eight eight times however many times you want to do it and then you put on your edges so for this demonstration we're just going to use one stitch on each side for our border now if you're doing it in the round like the hat then it's done in multiples of eight so in order to um, to do that we're going to put our stitch marker on here and then we're going to actually we're going to start here i'm going to put it here so this is one two three four five six seven eight we're going to do two sets so one two three four five six seven Eight, and then we are going to put that one there now or I'll, I've put my stitch markers only on the ends of the eights and then we're going to have one each on each side for our border and this way you can add whatever border you want however many stitches you just need for the actual raised paving stitch you need it in multiples of eight so Okay, we are going to put it on this end. We're going to do an E-wrap cast on. So if this is going to be our border stitch, then we're going to put it on one right next to it. And this way we'll be working from, um, well, we'll be working back and forth, but our um, odds will go, our odd rows will go right and our even rows will go left. So we'll just do an E-wrap cast on. And then I'll meet back up with you. Okay, and be sure you've got your stitch over here. Now then, for rows one through three, we are just going to purl all the rows. So just bring that back in front and just purl. So you'll do one through three is all purls with the black yarn now if you're doing this all in one color you won't change the colors at any point you'll just keep on doing it like in you know in just the one color um, so just keep on purling for rows one through three and I'll meet back up okay before I called this color I'm so sorry, um, I called this color A, but this is actually color B. And now with um, our color A, which is going to be your background color, so just whatever color you're wanting, um, we're going to add this one. So do your slip knot, and we're going to attach it here. Now then... We are going to knit the first one because that's our our border and you are just going to um, I should have put that to the back you're just going to leave your working yarn to what I call the center of the loom okay so we're going to knit that first one pull that stitch if you need to on that other color. So you've got color A and we are going to then knit three more. So once we start after our border then we knit three. So one, two, three. So whatever you're going to do for your border but this is the actual stitch pattern from starting here. So we knit three and then we will sl um, slip the next two pegs or skip them. So you just take your working yarn to behind the pegs and just skip those and slip those pegs. 
those stitches so then we will we will knit then six so one two three four five six get her and then we will slip these next two and then we will do three Two, three. Okay, so you see the pattern forming here. These are going to be our slipped ones. We've got your um, your color A. The knit part is going to be um, six stitches wide, and then you've got, and you'll be surrounded by two stitches. So then we've got the three here and the three here, and. Um, and then as that builds, then you will, um, you'll see your pattern forming. Okay, so then we've got our border. So you do whatever you're going to with your border on this one. We're just going to knit the one. That's and row four. In, in order to do the, um, in one color, you would do rows four through ten in, um, that pattern of the knit three, slip two, knit three, and then repeat. Um, and then your, of course, your edges. Um, but to do it in the multicolor or the two colors, then we would need to only do with color A, then um, rows four through nine. So we will um, go ahead and we will go back now and uh, we will do your border and then you will knit three one two three slip two behind the peg and then you will knit three or if you're working on the hat then just go ahead and do six but um, and then you do another three to make up your six and skip two and then knit three and then do your border now then go ahead and that finishes up um, row five so go ahead and do rows six through nine and I'll meet back up with you now then I just finished row nine and um, you'll have a little bit of a uh, yarn color here, uh, yarn strand manipulation, but now then on row 10 for the um, two colors, then you'll go back, you will drop that one back, you will go back to your uh, color B, and since you, and you don't cut it between, um, between colors, and you will just bring it up the side to here. Now then, what we're going to do is um, the same for, for color B on row 10. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to just be sure whenever you bring it up, just be sure not to pull it tight, especially on your hat tube, because it will draw that up. So we got our border. Of course, if you're doing the hat, you won't have the border. And then we will knit three. And then we will skip two. And yes, you will not do anything. Those stitches are still going to be from the bottom, and it will kind of pull a little. But you'll see here in a little bit what we're going to do. So um, you'll skip the two, then you'll knit three, and then repeat um, again. Or you'll just do your six each time if you're working on the hat. Or to the next set of slipped pegs. And then we will skip those, and then one, and then two. And I'm just using a uh, U-wrap knit. I, I always, if you see me do this, that's because I'm loosening my stitch, and it pulls it out. It almost makes it um, identical to a uh, regular knit stitch. And then, of course, our border 